The Greek word Narcissus gave rise to the term Narcissism and the phrase was made famous by Sigmund Freud to describe extreme excessive selfishness. Narcissus was rejected in love by Echo and then fell in love with his own reflection. Such was his vanity and disregard of anything or anyone else. In fact, narcissism can be described as self-love, but not to be confused with loving yourself and having self-respect while doing the same for others. This is purely obsessional love that consumes and eats away at all that is good and all that is positive. In today's world, there are many narcissists. A narcissist can also be described as wanting to be in control, in control of all events, in control of all situations, and in control of all people. The terms free will or live and let live do not exist for a narcissist, and all situations have to be on their terms without a thought for anyone else. It's a sick kind of love, if you can call it love at all, that prohibits freedom with a narcissist thinking, if I can't have you, then no one else can, and I will make your life difficult until you beg on your knees for me to stop. For anyone who's ever been in a narcissistic relationship, you'll understand exactly what it's like. There are many types of narcissistic relationships Partnerships, for want of a better word, where the husband chooses to control the wife, the girlfriend wishes to control the boyfriend, the boss aims to control the employee, the government wishes to control the people, and the corporations want to control the population. This can also be applied to friends and family members who wish to steer events and others to think and behave in the same way as them with disregard to feelings, wishes and needs of others, making for a toxic and controlling environment without any freedom. This is not love and doesn't come from the heart and doesn't come from the great creator. It's a form of mind control and possession. In some cases, the narcissism can be passed down through generations until the light bulb moment the wonderful moment when all becomes clear and apparent. When this point is reached, then change can and will happen and negativity becomes positivity. The great creator said, let there be light and there was. Let love reign and so it came to pass.